What is up you guys? I am Missy Renee and in today's video we're going to talk about the mindset shift that you need to make in order to manifest fast and the mindset shift needed in order to see your desires come to fruition in no time at all. So if manifestation and conscious creation are topics that you are interested in learning more about, then definitely do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. This will tell the YouTube algorithm to put this video in front of a wider audience so that more people can get this life-changing information. And if you are interested in more of my resources, such as one-on-one -on -one coaching, my courses and workshops, or my Facebook group, I will have links to those down in the description box below. So do not forget to check those out. And I wanted to make this video after I had a few people reach out to me in the last couple weeks asking me about if it's possible to manifest within three days. If it's possible to see your manifestation come to fruition in 72 hours or less. And I thought this was actually really interesting because the answer is, of, of course, <laughs> of course it's possible. You can absolutely manifest anything within three days. However, and this is where the idea for this video came in, the way that we approach it is going to be the determination of the time that our manifestation takes to come to pass. And this has everything to do with the mindset that we have going into conscious creation, going in with the law of assumption, going all in on our imaginal acts because there's an important aspect that gets missed often, and that is the mindset that we have when it comes to how we approach the law and our desires in and of themselves. So if you notice that you have been struggling to manifest, if you notice that things are not coming to pass in the way that you want them to, and you may be stumped and frustrated as to why that may be, then this video has your name all over it so stick around through the end because we're going to talk about this mindset shift needed in order to see your desire come to pass and come to pass quickly so diving right into this let's talk about the mindset that you need to have in order to manifest a specific person and let's talk about some of the ways in which we are approaching this in the least effective manner Let's say, for an example, that you are trying to manifest a specific person. There is somebody in your life who you care about and love deeply, but maybe the feeling is not reciprocated. Maybe that person just wants to be friends. Maybe the two of you are not even talking, and all you've been doing is fighting. What you desire is love and commitment from this person. What you desire is to see that perfect relationship pan out in the perfect way, in the exact way. You want your fairy tale ending with this person. So you've been going all in on trying to recreate this person. You've been going all in on trying to manifest the desired changes to this person. And try as you might, nothing has worked. Nothing's working. Nothing's changing. So what gives? If you notice how most people are approaching manifestation, they are focused solely on the problem. Most people are fixated on some kind of issues, some kind of problem that needs to be fixed. The problem is that my specific person isn't reciprocating my feelings. My problem is that my business is failing. My problem is I don't have enough money. I never have enough money to do anything. I could barely pay my bills. My problem is that there's a third party in this situation. It's always a focus on the problem. Most people find out about the law of assumption because there is a problem that needs to be fixed. And when faced with a problem, the first question most people ask is, how can this be fixed? What can I do to fix this? What can I do to change this? If you have spent any amount of time in the YouTube comments or on the Devil Got It Reddit forum, 
you will see that this is 100% the case. And perhaps if this is something that you are doing without even realizing it. Most people, when learning about and discovering the law, ask themselves, how can I fix this problem using manifestation? And this is completely understandable that we do this. Most of us have been taught from a very young age that we need to take action to fix things. If there is something in our life that's happening, if there's something in our life that's unfolding that we don't like or that we don't want, then we need to fix it. We need to figure out how to solve said problem. We need to come up with a plan. We need to come up with solutions. We need to come up with ways to overcome any challenges that we face. And while this is great and noble and all, this is not the same approach that you want to take when it comes to the law of assumption. The issue with this approach when it comes to the law of assumption is that the law of assumption says what we assume is what we ultimately create. So if we are assuming, first and foremost, that there is a problem, we are putting our focus on just that. We're putting our focus on the issue at hand. We're putting our focus on what we don't want. Through the years that I have been talking and teaching about the law of assumption and talking to other people, coaching other people, I can say with confidence that most of us are not even aware of how much attention we give to the problem itself, to the unwanted circumstance, to the unwanted environment, to the unwanted version of that person that we desire to be with. Most of us are not aware as to how much attention we are giving to the unwanted circumstances. We may be doing everything that we are told to do. We may be applying these techniques. We may be affirming. We may be imagining. We might be trying to use these positive inner conversations to bring about the change. And we may truly believe that we're giving our attention to that desired state. We may truly believe that we are in fact living in the end. But if you notice that you are constantly and consistently looking around and saying everything's still the same, everything is still the way it was, why is this not working? What am I doing wrong? Why is he still not showing up in the way that I want him to show up? Why is she still ignoring me? Why is there still a third party? What am I doing wrong? And how do I fix this? And it's this mentality that shows that we are still giving a lot of attention to the unwanted state and to what we don't want. If you are focusing on there being a problem that you need to fix, then that is still what is coming up in awareness because the law of assumption will bring you whatever it is that you are focused on and whatever you give your attention to. This is how we find ourselves in these patterns and these feedback loops because instead of going to that end and committing to that end state, we keep looking at the problem because whatever it is that you're focused on is the assumption that you carry about your reality, about your circumstances, and about what is true in your world. And it's this mentality, it is this mindset of needing to fix it, of needing to solve the issues, of needing to take some kind of action to change it. This is where the vast majority of people are getting hung up. This is why it seems like nothing has changed because consciously or not, you manifest what you give your attention to. Whatever is in your awareness is what will become the 3D circumstances that you encounter. Or if we do wind up manifesting the changes that we desire, with this mindset, we wind up reverting back to how everything was before. We continue to bring the unwanted circumstance into awareness. And by doing so, we go into fix it mode and round we go. So how do we change this? 
How do we make it so that we are no longer keeping ourselves in this feedback loop? How can we make it so that we are no longer taking the outside circumstance with us? Here is the mindset and here is the important thing to remember. So if there is only one thing that you take away from this video or any of my videos for that matter, let it be this. Manifestation is not about fixing our problems. Manifestation is about selecting and choosing a new state entirely. It is about starting with the completely blank slate that is this moment right now and stepping into a state of everything is the way that I want it to be right now. In this moment, everything is exactly how I desire it to be. Manifestation is not about taking the situation at hand and trying to change it. It is about creating a whole new circumstance in imagination, void of any and all unwanted circumstances that may be present in the 3D right this moment. And here's a helpful tip from Neville to really drive this home. The whole vast world exists within the human imagination. And if you are as intense as this woman, I have never met anyone more intense than this woman. She said to me, we got notice, we had to vacate our business. That is the building on 57th Street between 5th Avenue and Madison, a most expensive neighborhood where you pay 50, 60, $70,000 for an area not as big as this a year in rent, and certainly not as big as this room, one floor. He is a couture. He has factories in London and Paris, factories in New York, factories in Puerto Rico, and here an area not as big as this, it's long and narrow and could not, if I took the square measurement of this room, it could not. That place could not be this big, and he was paying sixty-five to 70000 a year rental. In his own place for living, he paid twelve fifty a month for that 33rd floor apartment that he had. That's a lot of money, plus running a business and paying a payroll to maybe 150 or 200 people every week. That runs into a fortune. He received notice that they're going to terminate his lease because the IBM, the international business machine, bought the building to demolish it and build a huge big building for themselves headquarters in New York City. He had to get out. He began to give her all kinds of reasons why he couldn't find a place. She said, don't tell me what you don't want. Don't tell me what can't be done. Tell me what you want. You name them. I don't care how many you name. You just simply name them. Well, he said, I want a building on 57th Street between 5th Avenue and 6th Avenue. And they say there's no building for sale, not even for rent but certainly not for sale. She said, don't tell me what is not, tell me what you want. Now, he said, we have 18 months to go on our present apartment. It's 12.50 a month. I would like to move and reduce our rent, all right? But who is going to pay 12.50 and take over my lease? Don't tell me who's going to do it. Tell me what you want. Well, that's what I want. I want to get out of that lease and find a place just as nice, as tall as that. They were on the 33rd floor, up in the 30s where I can have a view and not pay that sort of money. He gave her 12 things. She has the capacity to go into these states and bring them out, and they are objective to her. Every one. He found a place, number 41 West 57th Street, an eight-story building. It wasn't for sale. She didn't concern herself with what is or is not for sale. She got it. They are there now. Someone came in. After she released the apartment in her mind's eye and actually moved into one, another one, right next door to this one on 57th Street. Someone came in and said, I'll take over your lease at the same rent, twelve fifty. And then she found a place on the 30th floor, right adjacent to where they now own the eight-story building for $650 a month, reducing it by $600. Everything that he requested, she did it. That is her intensity. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. You do not fight against your problem. Your problem will only live as long as you are conscious of it. 
Take your attention away from your problem and the multitude of reasons why you cannot achieve your ideal. Concentrate your attention entirely upon the thing desired. Do not tell yourself what you don't want. Tell yourself what you do want. I've said it before in many of my videos and I am going to keep repeating it. I'm going to keep driving it home because this mindset, the shift in this mindset can be the difference between success and failure. And this mindset shift is the difference between waiting months and waiting literally days, if not hours. Because here is the bottom line. You may be doing your affirmations. You may be listening to your tapes at night religiously. You may be visualizing and doing everything you can to move into that new state. You may be applying all these techniques. However, if the focus keeps coming back to what you don't want, if the focus keeps coming back to the problem, if what you bring into awareness is more of the same old, same old, it's going to perpetuate. We may not realize it, but every time we have conversations with our friends, every time that we battle with the issues internally, every time we have an internal dialogue about the undesired state, these are all stemming from an assumption that you carry that there is a problem that needs to be fixed that there is this unwanted circumstance but we are not here to figure out how to fix it we are here to reject it entirely we are here to accept a new state entirely everything is already finished creation is done it is complete there's nothing that we need to take action in order to fix that state that reality that contains all of the desired circumstance, that contains the version of you and your person that are happy and in love, committed, that are committed to each other and that are madly in love with each other, that state already exists. All that is needed is our occupation. And we occupy that state through imagining that state because it is through imagination that everything is created. It is through imagination that we can move into any of these states and occupy it and dwell there. And by doing this, you will animate that state. You will see that state come to life in your 3D. All that we need to do is go to the end. All that we need to do is drop that old story. All that we need to do is understand and trust that in this moment right now, I can move into that state. Problem solved. We can assume right now in this moment that there isn't a problem, that the problem doesn't exist, that it is no longer the state that we occupy and we can remove it and we can remove ourselves. We can drop that old state entirely. Now I'm not saying to just ignore the 3D and stick your head in the sand and to suppress anything that might be coming up for you. I'm saying that we need to change the way in which we are observing and we need to change what we are putting our attention and focus on because if the dominant focus and the dominant assumption is that there is a problem or there is this unwanted thing that I need to fix, well Voila, more problems. But what if we instead chose to start from the assumption that all states already exist? So what state do I want to occupy? What state do I want to dwell in? What does it look like? What would happen if I turned my attention instead to that desired state where the two of us are in a loving and committed relationship? What would that look like? And most importantly, what would that feel like? Since creation is finished, all of the solutions to our problem already exist. We do not have to figure it out. We do not have to keep spinning our wheels. We do not have to keep fixating on what needs to be changed, when instead we can put our attention on what that change looks like, what it feels like, 
what it is going to be like now that you are occupying this whole new place with the whole new set of circumstance. All we need to remember is that it is not our job to figure out the how this is going to get fixed. We don't need to figure out how everything is going to come to pass. We don't need to figure out what to do in order to get from where we are now to ultimately where we desire to be. All we must do is decide in this moment where we want to occupy, where do we want to dwell, what do we want to put our attention on, where is our focus, what is the underlying assumption that we are carrying. Because once we do that, we stop spinning our wheels. Once we do that, we allow ourselves to turn the attention to what we desire and what we do want. Because it's that mindset shift that is going to bring about the change that we are seeking. And that mindset shift is how we manifest anything that we want. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in checking out any of my other resources, I will have links down below to my one-on-one -on -one coaching, my blog, my social channels, my courses, my podcast, all of those goodies, I have them down there in the description box, so do not forget to check them out. Also, do not forget to check out these videos over here. Each video is a different topic, but they all talk about how to manifest the best life ever. And so until we meet next time, you guys, take care, be well, and never forget how powerful you really are. Happy manifesting, guys.